Hello again, here is another Miscellaneous Monday. And for this um, project actually kind of just presented itself. Uh, right here is an iPod Classic. And I bought this back in probably 2008 um, and, or perhaps earlier, hard to remember. That was a long time ago. It's now 2021. Uh, and so uh, I bought this. This was actually my first uh, modern Apple, modern Apple product that I bought. Um, and then uh, eventually I got into the, um, kind of the, f became a little bit of an Apple fanboy, but this was my, um, my, uh, entry drug, so to speak, um, in that I bought the iPod and then was trying to figure out how to get it to sync up with my Wintel computer. And then eventually got an iPhone, a 3GS, uh, and then that kind of began my slow decline into the Apple world. Anyway, so um, unfortunately, as it turns out, Apple products are doggone really well constructed and they last a long time. Uh, and so this um, product has been uh, working for me on and off, um, mostly off in recent years, uh, until I just uh, tried to power it on about a week ago. I realized that battery had kind of discharged during the time that I had it in storage. So I went ahead and charged it up um, and ran it for a little bit and then immediately the battery just went dead. So at that point, I realized the battery is gone. Uh, so then I did some research on how to replace the battery. Was it possible? Is it something that I could do? And so um, I watched a video or two about doing that, and um, I decided, yeah, this is something I could do, and I could kind of show you. There are other people who do this, right? But, you know, again, this is just me doing my thing. So here's the, uh, here's the iPod. Uh, it, again, is the classic. Um, this one holds um, 30 gigabytes. You can kind of tell. Let me see if I can get this kind of cleaned up for you so you can read that. Um, can you see that? This is 30 gigabytes right there. So that's the uh, storage capacity. And I had, uh, I remember when I had first gotten it, I was thinking, wow, that's a lot of space. Um, and so I was just tickled. Uh, being in information systems, the idea of having 30 gigabytes of storage just in the palm of my hand was extraordinary. So um, I then went about uh, ripping like nearly every CD I owned, which um, is probably uh, in in the rack that I had, uh, was I had about a four foot rack and then had all those CD uh, cases um, that filled up two columns of that. Um, and nearly, I probably uh, ripped about 80% of that music in there and had plenty of space left over. Uh, this is um, an interesting unit in that it does not use solid state disk drive. This uses a mechanical spinning disk drive. And so, you know, if you drop it too badly or, you know, could potentially engage in shock damage, things like that. Um, but it has proved very resilient over the years. So I don't worry too much about that. So it's kind of like, uh, kind of like a cool thing. And, and I don't, I, I still have um, potential to use it. It has no Bluetooth connectivity, anything like that. It was, um, it's just an interesting, it, anyway, great little tech, still works. Kind of wanted to preserve it. The cost of the battery wasn't very expensive at all. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you the truth right now. Uh, I can't ever I, I could go and look it up. I don't remember how much I paid for the battery. It's like five or 10 bucks, maybe at the most. So uh, free shipping. So I went ahead and got that. Um, and so we'll go through the replacement of it. Um, Actually, uh, yeah, that'll be the next scene you see. Just about. Okay, so what I had to use, I had to say this, I don't want my grandchildren watching this. I actually used the knife to get this started. Then I was able to use the tool here to start working my way around, getting underneath, and then you hear that click? That's that's the little thing that's that's breaking loose. A little latch and you can kind of see these latches here here and here and here so keep working that around
And if I'm lucky, I could even get it done over here, but I may just be able to, yeah, pull it out. So there we are. We've got that now separated. Now we've got to be careful about how we actually separate the, um, the case, the metal case from the, the innards. Okay. So that's next. So now this is somewhat apart. Gotta be very careful. Try to be careful. Knowing that there are attached cables back here. And there it comes. Okay, so oh. all right, so now notice that I'm hoping you can see this. Here is the the original battery. Here's the cable to the battery. Um, now we have some other cables here that we don't want to mess with, but we can disconnect this battery cable over here. That should be pretty easy. So we just pull it out just like that. And it folds open nicely. We have now the new battery, which we are going to make sure that it is oriented properly. Yep, so it's going to go like that. That's eventually what we want it to look like. And then we can just remove the battery. This should just come right up with a little bit of persuasion. There's some glue in there, is my understanding. I just feel the adhesive coming off and there it goes it's out all right so that's a bad battery i'm going to dispose of that put this one in you push it in set it down set it in and just the adhesive that's already there should be enough to hold it in by the way this is this is the hard drive this is the thing which is just was fascinating to me when I first got this, that they had a, a hard drive that was this small and was, in fact, a mechanical, you know, a spinning disc hard drive. It was just amazing to me that they had made them that small. Fascinating to me. So I'm going to try and make sure we don't hurt that. Then this, I'm going to go and connect up to this little... This is going to be the tricky part for me because I'm a little bit of a, of a got big fingers and I could get this wrong. So now... All right, I was able to get the, um, the connector to go back in just like that. Then we want to make sure that this now folds properly together. You see there, there was that little thing that came out. So we want to get that. There it goes. Just a matter of getting that to fit in. The disc trying to fit back into its little pocket area to fit like so, but it actually fits like that. There we go. Just like that. Right, now should be able to get this to just snap. Doesn't seem to want to go, and I don't like that. So, taking it apart again, trying to make sure that everything is seated where it ought to be. Pretty tightly fitted. I think if I come at it like that, it'll be better. 
seems to feel better. Okay, it's beginning to latch. Oh, I don't like that. Hold on. Something down here is hanging up. So one of the tricks is, of course, once it comes apart, getting it back together again. That is really the hard part. And then with everything, so yeah, see that came out again. Okay, then put that back. And start, I'm going to start from the top where I'm going to have the battery kind of push in against the disk drive mechanism. And since that seats, I'm hoping that everything else doesn't look like it. Uh, am I hanging up on something here, I feel? Okay, there we go. That actually looks right. Okay, so now I'm beginning to press it around, <clears throat> and it seems to fit. Now it's fitting okay. Well, okay, so now it's together. Let's see what happens. I'll, I'll take the lock off, press, and see if we've got any. Looks like we've got some power. We got the apple, which is going to show the. Um, Yep, so it's uh, it's it's alive. I'm actually rather pleased with myself. Self, I am pleased with you. So it's going to take a while to boot back up because it is, you know, an old iPod. It just takes a while. And there it is. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a little surprised. It worked. It actually worked. All right, so now you can tell there's very little power, so I'm going to have to spend some time uh, getting this thing charged back up. All right. We'll get that. We'll get started on that right away. Okay, so now we've done the replacement. Um, you've seen the device kind of powered up, and I went ahead and uh, put a full charge on it. Um, and uh, actually it's working really good. You can see here, um, songs come up. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my little Bluetooth speaker, actually using uh, um, a cable. It actually kind of looks like this, okay, one of those Bluetooth cables and I'm just plugging it in. And uh, it's time to see if we will get any music out of this. Well, there we are. Eric Clapton, Sweet Home Chicago. Um, and um, actually one of my, a, a, a real favorite of mine. So it's kind of nice that that's what came up. So um, let's see. Fats Domino, I'm walking. Oh, right, this one's one of my favorites. I was toting my pack. Oh, yes. Because I've been everywhere. Johnny Cash, the uncertain baritone. Great stuff. Ring of Fire, I Walk the Line. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah. Okay, see how I'm just enjoying this now. Oh, yeah. Is there anything cooler than Dave Brubeck? I don't think so. So, um, clearly the uh, unit works and it works well. Um, seems to have regained all of its functionality. So I will call this a success. Um, having a little bit of manual dexterity, actually getting that little cable in correctly, that was really the trickiest part. And then, uh, as if you remember, as I was pulling it apart, one of the little uh, rubber grommet things, parts kind of, fell out and kind of misled me into where it belonged. But I figured that out, got it fitted back in the right place, got the disc fitted back in. And then the little technique of just making sure you kind of lead with the battery to push down the disc as you're getting it uh, set, and then everything squeezed together, it worked just fine. So I'm looking forward to being able to use this for another uh, 
I don't know how many years it'll be. Um, there is a um, there is another upgrade that some guys have done. They've actually taken and put in um, SD drives. Uh, the cards, you know, those cards are now so small and they contain so much space. Um, saw a guy who uh, apparently there's a kit where you can take out the hard drive from the iPod here, replace it with an SD card kind of mounted in there. And uh, rather than 30 gigabytes, you know, I could get 128 gigabytes. What am I going to do with all that? I don't know. But anyway, it works. Uh, that may be um, that may be something to do in the future. Um, but man, I don't have that much music around. I don't know, maybe to load up a bunch of movies or something like that. I'm not sure. Anyway, so it all worked, uh, all good. And uh, thanks for uh, for watching this crazy little process. Um, as always, if you liked it, hit like. Um, if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. But you know, I'm not like the most consistent poster out there. But I appreciate I appreciate the folks who are listening. Thank you so much. Uh, have a great day. Stay healthy. Bye bye.